everyone blames the cows. As we exhale, we emit carbon dioxide. But it's not contributing to climate change, as it's just part of a natural cycle. So why then do we hold cattle responsible for global warming when they burp methane, as this too is just part of a natural cycle? Let me explain. So grass requires sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide from our atmosphere to grow. Cows then eat the grass and convert a small portion of this organic material into methane. The cows burp methane into our atmosphere where it is then oxidized and becomes carbon dioxide again. The carbon dioxide feeds the grass, the cows eat the grass, and so on and so forth. It is very important to understand that this is recycled carbon. This is not new additional carbon added to our atmosphere, meaning this does not cause global warming. Constant herds of cattle and the quantity of methane both produced and destroyed are in balance. This is known as the biogenic carbon cycle. People who are anti-livestock will tell you, no, 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 it's methane, and particularly methane from livestock. But if methane from a source like cattle, for example, is stable or even decreasing, then this global warming potential 100 GWP 100 will not do the job. In fact, it will give us wrong information. Here is the global methane budget, and on the left we have all the methane sources, so fossil fuel production and use, agriculture and waste, biomass burning, and wetlands, the grand total being 558 teragrams of methane, which is what many people will say is being emitted, but this isn't accurate because on the right we have what is known as sinks that come from chemical reactions in our atmosphere. So methane isn't just created, there are additionally sinks destroying it. And over here on the right, we can see the sinks equate to 548 teragrams. Subtract that from our original total, and we're left with just 10 teragrams of methane being emitted into our atmosphere each year, which isn't what's being reported. Cows and other grass-eating species have a digestion system that emits methane. And methane is a very powerful greenhouse gas. So we need to change... Cows? Uh, Cows. Just cows alone. Either Bill Gates doesn't understand how nature works, or he's just allowed to lie in front of the whole world and get away with it. But all of these people, they're, um... They are talking a load of... Sooner or later, that methane molecule will meet a so-called radical, and that radical will steal the hydrogen from the CH4 from the methane and destroy it. And that happens within 10 years. Methane is destroyed at the same rate it's produced. Furthermore, Regenerative farming enables carbon in our atmosphere to be sequestered in the soil. This is true sustainability. You know what the animals would say to you if they could speak? Dog Kelly! Where'd my tooth go? A study conducted by Michigan State University in 2020 compared the carbon footprint of regenerative grazing systems to conventional beef production systems. The research found that regenerative grazing practices could potentially sequester 3,678 pounds of carbon dioxide equivalent per acre per year, reducing overall greenhouse gas emissions by 32% compared to conventional systems. Now here is the carbon footprint breakdown per kilogram of white oak pastures beef. And as you can see, the net total of emissions are minus 3.5 kilograms of CO2 equivalent emissions per kilogram of fresh meat produced. I do hope you found this helpful. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.